Everybody still asleep? Good morning. Okay, that's better. That's better. Well, good to see everybody this morning. And uh, we in the final rows, I guess. Maybe even getting in the short rows on trying to get the session wrapped up. Um, House Bill 44, which is the FY18 budget, we're now in the posture of beginning to work on working out differences between the House and Senate version and looking forward to next couple of days. Hopefully we can get it done and, and go to the House. You know, there's, we got up to 40 days, but it don't say we have to use 40 days. So it'd be nice to be able to maybe knock this out and we can all head home, get back to our families and our businesses and our normal lives. But um, looking through, looking through the differences between the House and Senate version, I don't don't see us having a whole lot of heartburn or or disagreement. And I'm, Mr. Chairman, I'm looking forward to working with you as, as always and uh, our conferees as well. So I, we're gonna see if you. Got any comments you'd like to make? Well, I, I certainly agree with you, Mr. Chairman. That uh, there's a lot to be, uh, there's a lot to uh, be feel good about in, in these things that aren't on this differences report that we've already agreed to. True. Uh, some outstanding things for the state of Georgia, and um, I, I look forward to settling these. I don't, as I look through it, I agree with you. I don't, I don't see any great policy differences. I, I see just shades of difference and. Uh, I know we'll uh, we'll come together and and find a budget that uh, that performs for the state and uh, has some things and that enhance our security and maybe begin to help work on rural areas and improving their economy. And, uh, some of the issues like the rate kits, if a, uh, I think we can find a good solution there, and the, you know, food safety and the. the funding to work towards being sure our poultry industry is safe. I mean, there, there are a number of items <clears throat> that are very timely <clears throat> and the quicker we can get through with this budget and get on to governor's signature, the, the better. I'd agree. And like you said, there's a lot of, a lot of things we've already agreed on that, that were, that came from the governor's office. And then we signed off and y'all signed off with uh, law enforcement pay raises or defects worker pay raises and 2% pay raise for teachers and all other state employees and and substantial uh, investment in the retirement systems uh, for teachers and our state employees as well. So like you say, a lot of good things that uh, we've already agreed to and it's just down to some minor nuts and bolts really um, and moving forward. Nothing that a few million dollars won't solve. Just a few million between friends. We can make a lot of things happen. That's true. That is true. Conferees, any, you want to make any statement? Either our pro teams or leaders? I just want to mention how, how uh, the progress that we're making in health care um, for our uh, vulnerable <coughs> and um, most vulnerable in Medicaid but also uh, with respect to the residencies. I think that's very important so that we continue the pipeline of health care providers. About $123 million. I just ran it through my, just my, my little $3 calculator the other night. And human needs new funding, not counting Medicaid increases that are pointed towards children and the elderly and the disabled. And that's actually probably the feature, the major feature of this, night, of this budget. So that's a very good point. Yeah couple of things in, in Alzheimer's that, that we're looking forward to working out an agreement on that uh, probably the biggest health threat in front of us for the next generation or two. And uh, I know our friends at Emory are doing a lot of work there and, and our folks at DCH have been doing some work too. And so we, I, I look forward to making some positive progress there as well. Any other comments? Well, Mr. Chairman, let's go to work. Thank y'all. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.